forward, changes stances, and then oh, lands. Smack bang! The big kibosh! It's good night, Irene! Precision, just like that. He, he's just able to figure out what you're doing and then come up with a counter for it. Sean needs to go forward and disrupt him right now. Clancy cannot stay on his line against Talon Chai. Talon Chai will pick him off. And I agree, Mitch. Like I said, you've got to go for it. Got to go for it early. Crossing elbow there from Talon Chai. First, we've seen outside leg kick from Clubber. Man, I cringed when that leg kick landed, or the head kick landed. You can already see the hematoma on the side of uh, Sean Clancy's head there. And he shook that off, just like Mitch said. Sirloin. Truck stop. <laughs> High right roundhouse kick there from Clubber. Caught on the double forearms guard. Catch and sweep counter. Couldn't execute the sweep. Two punch combination over the top. Trying to measure with the lead hand there, Clubber Clancy. Resets. Thought about the front kick. Teep off the back leg, out of southpaw stance from Talon Jai. Cracks the back leg, goes up to the head. He's so fast with those kicks, man, and, and the way that he does it, there's almost no tell oh, whatsoever. Oh, he drops him, drops him with the left hand. Three, I think you just popped him four, on the chin with that left hand, five, and Clubber six, went down. Seven, you cannot stand in front of Talon Jai. He will three, tee off on you like a two. golf course. Three knockdowns in one round, don't forget it will be over. Upper cut to left cross. Clancy can't stand in front of Tawan Chai. Oh. Look at that kick. Just oh. precision. He's got to go circular. He's got to go lateral. He's just staying in front of Tawan Chai. It's a recipe for disaster. Jab two. Get off the fence here, Club of Clancy. You've got to move. Two. Look at Talon Chai, nothing phasing him. Just relaxed. You can see Clancy's only moving forward and back. He's got to start moving laterally and especially away from that left kick. It'll be interesting to look at the punch stats at the end of this match because everything, it, it's, it, I feel like Talon Chai has a 100% strike landing rate. <laughs> I don't disagree. Everything off his left side so far is just superb. We're seeing the elbows, the high kicks. We're seeing the straight lift cross. This is a show. This is a performance. Oh, clubs Clubber with that right hand. And Clubber's face is a horror story. Another high left round kick from Talon Chai. Ownership, complete ownership can be nothing else but a 10-8 round for Talon Chai. Man, the confidence and swagger is just oozing out of Tawan Chai. And the sound of these shots, it sounds like a baseball bat hitting a watermelon. It is so beautiful to watch that left kick come up high. There's that knockdown early in the round there. Look at it, a counter strike and boom, touches him on the chin with the right, follows it up with the left. I'll tell you what, guys, this is my first time watching Tawan Chai live. I'm blown away, Rich. I am blown away. I've, I've already been sitting in this chair, clin like clinching a couple <laughs> times when I watch these head kicks land and everything is landing. I, I'm, I would like to be in Sean Clancy's corner right now. Listen, got to get away from that power side, that right, right kick. Ready? He just that left kick keeps coming. He's got to circle to his left and keep moving. This is just danger for Clubber Clancy, the Irishman. Second round of three, 10 8 opening round unofficially, but you can't give it any other way. First round for Talon Chai. Look how relaxed Tawan Chai is, composed and just... He's walking through Central Park on a Sunday yeah. afternoon. He's having a coffee, he's strolling along, he's waving to people, saying hello to his mates. I mean, this is just incredible. He's got a world champion standing in front of him. Look at that nice little step through to the right hand. The hematoma, the cut, the left eye's closing a little now for Sean Clancy. Yeah, you know, Chevelle, you talk about Sean Clancy using that footwork to move. I don't I don't believe that he has the footwork to outmaneuver Talon Chai. Maybe he should look at clinch work here, something tying him up just so Talon Chai can't tee off on him. Left hand lead there from Talon Chai. Clancy goes upstairs. Could not just throw the singles though. Got to use combinations here. Got to find a way to try and frustrate, land something on Talon Chai. You can see another hematoma on the yep. outside of the uh, jaw right there of Sean Clancy. 
The right hand oh. was there for the asking. Didn't take it, though, and look at the return from Tawanchai. This is a four or five-piece combination. Yeah. Every single one of them landed. And it all started with that jab. That right jab just comes. Look at that thing. It's a sledgehammer. Just pops him right in the chin over and over again. He can do it off the back foot, too. He's moving backwards, and he's throwing shots. Papa cut elbow. This is more like it. Maybe you heard your rich trying the clinch work now. Papa Clancy. Chance for the knees from the Irishman. He's been more active on the inside in the clinch, and maybe it'll give him a slight boost of confidence. A lot of drop of sweat on Tawan Chai. Not a crease of concern on the 21-year-old's face. I, what I really like about Tawan Chai's style is that he's just very patient with everything that he throws. There's no rush for him. Even when he has somebody wobbled, he still follows up very patiently, and everything is just with precision. It's also the efficiency of the striking. Everything is thrown to land. There are no wasted shots. Spinning back elbow to the side of the jaw. Two punch combo there. I know we speak a lot about accuracy, but this is the definition of striking accuracy. Every single shot he throws and initiates, he lands. And guys, you don't see the downward elbow a lot in Muay Thai these days. You just don't see it. And here we see Tawan Chai ripping out the jumping downward elbows, trying to crack the top of the head, the headache maker, trying to crack the clavicle of Clancy. Ten seconds. You can see why he's so scary. You can see why everyone fears meeting Tawan Chai inside the ring, inside the circle. I think in the first round, Clancy was caught off guard and that power kind of surprised him and he went down that one time. But here, he's still in this matchup. He's still pushing forward. I like his change of strategy, utilizing the clinch, trying to go forward, not allowing Tawan Chai to completely have his way with him. Here he is trying to come forward. Look at that evasive maneuvers. Throws the five piece and lands each one of them. You know, this this round, you could almost argue, even though he didn't score a knockdown, this round could be a 10-8 round because it's a complete domination round. But I'll say this about Sean. Even though at this point in time he was knocked down in the first, that would be a 10-8 round. This round, possibly a 10-8 round. You could tell by the way he's moving in this match that there's no part of him that thinks, I'm out of this fight. He's still throwing, and in his mind, he's going to win this thing. He is still here. He is not prepared to wave the white flag. Not yet. Right, ready? Ready? You can never deny the heart of Sean Clubber Clancy. Great sportsmanship there. The respect, the honor, the integrity. You know, Mitch, you talked about how Sean may have underestimated Talon Chai's power at the beginning of this match. I think if I walk past Talon Chai down the street, I would completely underestimate him as being the fighter that he is. Real hook there from Clubber Clancy. Talon Chai with the elbow of the lead arm. I like how he changes stances when he throws that right hand. He comes forward, changes stances, and then oh, lands! Smack bang! The big kibosh! It's good night, Irene! Left side, roundhouse kick! Smack bang! From Talon Chai! I think the changing of the stances was the undoing. He came in for it, ran right into that high kick. Tawan Chai, PK, San Chai, Muay Thai Jam with a third round KO. Talk about an exclamation mark. It was always the danger off that left side, and Tawan Chai planted him like a tree. Rich, we have just seen someone very, very, very special. Yeah, you know, Sean even saw this kick come, and he thought that he was going to be able to evade it. But when Talon Chai threw this kick, full hip extension and rotation there, and Clancy just could not get out of the way in time. Just excellence in execution. A highlight reel finish. Let's go to Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to this contest for your winner. By way of knockout, Tawantai, PK, Sentai, 